Hey there, I'm Josh Short from Edit Video Faster. This video is taken out of a course that I'm creating called uh, Media Management Fundamentals in Avid Media Composer. Uh, this lesson in particular is on MXF files, uh, what they are, uh, where they come from, those sorts of things. Uh, there's lots more in the description below if uh, you want to continue to learn more and stay in contact with how the course is coming along and if you'd like to uh, participate in the course, that's all in the description below. Uh, but uh, with that being said, let's jump right into our lesson. In this lesson, we're going to talk about MXF files, like what they are and where they come from. When you create media inside of Media Composer, it creates an MXF file that rests in the one folder inside the Avid Media Files uh, file path that we went through in one of the previous lessons. You can create media a number of different ways. The first way is by importing. When you import, you're taking a file that already exists on your hard drive, uh, a video file, a graphic, a audio file, and you're bringing it into Media Composer. When you do this, when you import, an MXF file or multiple MXF files are created. If you delete or move that source file from your hard drive, everything else will stay intact in Media Composer because you have created that MXF file by importing. So in our bin, if we right click and go to import, and we select a file, and select our hard drive, Now that this clip is imported, we can see that it has created MXF files. So if I right click the icon of the clip and go down to reveal file, it's going to show me the MXF files that were created from this clip. So if I open up this clip, you'll see it has an audio and video track, and that's what these uh, two MXF files are. This one here, the large one, that's probably the video track, and uh, the smaller one, that's probably the audio track. If I was to do something dumb and uh, delete these MXF files here, uh, we will not be able to see this clip inside a Media Composer. But if I went over and deleted the source file from my hard drive, the one that I imported in there, this clip will still stay online. You can also create media by transcoding. You plug your card in and uh, it pops up and you get uh, all these linked clips. We'll get into this more in the next lesson, Importing versus AMA. We can right click on it and go down to Consolidate Transcode. And when we transcode onto our drive, a new MXF file will be created. MXF files are also created when you render effect like a dissolve or color correction or when you create a title using the title tool. In other NLEs like Premiere, when you import a clip, uh, you aren't actually importing it like you are doing in Media Composer. You are merely connecting to that source file. This is when you move one of those source files in Premiere, uh, it'll go offline, but in Media Composer, it won't if you import it in. However, if you do prefer to work by linking, uh, there is a way to do this in Media Composer, and that's called AMA, and we're going to talk about this in the next lesson. 